advantage. Yeah, not the best shots from that snake two position is a little bit safer, but not as proactive because look at this. He's gonna have that crossfield shot on that D3 position. He could have got he could have popped up from there and got that crossfield shot, but decides to go into the safety. And then he is gonna get that crossfield shot. So Mark's going to town right now for Uprising to try to tie this one up. They got a good break. Not looking at a lot of bodies here for Tampa Bay. Rainey still in the back center, trying to get it tight as possible. Couldn't get tight enough. He walks off and walks off dead and takes the walk. And then it looks like Smith's going to get tapped at as well, too. So it was a quick one to start things out for Tampa Bay. Dan he can take his time. There's four minutes. He, I mean, he could literally do it in two minutes, but, but he has to get, because the longer it takes Alec, then the, uh, the better it gets for Tampa Bay if Randy and does get the kill on him. In the very first point, you saw how much time that Uprising was willing to burn off the clock, right? So I think that they were taking that approach of maybe less, less is more here. So Alec commits because he knows he has to push forward. Rainey's in an Aztec. I'd rather be in an Aztec than that wedge. So then Alec's going to retreat. In a one-on-one, -on -one, you want to have your opponent oh, lose you. Just got oh, it. and Alec, did he get the cross? He did. He, get the sh he got the shot in on Rainey. So Rainey... Going bunker to bunker, but Alec had his gun up as he cut through that center. I think there was two instances of that. So obviously Hugo thought there was a snake, went bunker, no one. And then also I believe it was uh, Crescioni, Nick Crescioni, who ran through it. I believe it was it was Nick um, who went to get that Dorito 3 and I think got got before uh, he got there by Nate in the snake corner. Yeah, and, and Hugo having to pause for that, that just brief split second cost him his body. Yep. So now Nate Trader going to go to work here on the snake side. Bowen has been mostly focused, almost gets a shot. I think that might be Graham Honored actually in the 50 snake over there. He's going to do a retreat. This Nate. is smart. Yeah, so Nate's blocking He's out. Trying to find He's it. blocking out that D3. Oh, beautiful job by Nate Trader. This is why Nate Trader's been so lethal. Such an intelligent play. And then Graham Honored drops the hammer, and they win that two-on-two -two situation. Their Achilles heel over time. But you can, you know, you are allowed to change your narrative, right, <laughs> based on your actions. So let's see what happens here as they do have this two-body advantage. Nate has played really well here in this match. He was very careful on this crawl. He had some time to work with, but we're down to two minutes now. And now Nate is blocked out. So he's done all the work. He's blocked out. He can get up on his knee, and he has the drop on these guys. But everyone's really focusing on him. He does have that sh yep. shot cross field, and he's going to jump up, and he's going to get a two-pack to close. So Nate Schrader, beautiful job. They picked him up. He knew he was going to play every single point.